So what we found in, in previous shootouts is the tracking, you know, once we get below 75% started to go wonky and even just go like, why? <laughs> why even do that? So we started doing that and um, <clears throat> what we found is, I can tell you because I've calibrated both of the Panasonics, the Panasonics are dead on. Um, some of the other displays are near where they need to be, but they're not exactly correct and where they need to be precisely compared to the Panasonics. So you will see that once we throw up the chart. But I actually have a, a real world application example yeah. of that. I was in Ireland calibrating this guy's uh, Sharp LCD panel. And this guy was really into his racing uh, video games. Yeah. So we calibrated red to be completely right with the, like we were describing the old way, with the outer points. Mm -hmm. And then we put on one of his games and he, this Ferrari was now pink. So we had to go back with the, the multi the multi point saturation and kind of level out the errors. So it was a, you know we could t to linearize it as much as we could. Right. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, we of course discovered the problem um, almost by accident when we were setting up uh, two and a half years ago. Uh, Shark leap. The leap. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden there was a uh, we had a, a Tron we Tron had demo. A Tron <laughs> up just the uh, menu which had cyan at about 30%, right, all around, all around the middle. And bang, it just popped right out because it was blue, not cyan. Every other display was correct except for it. And it's still one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's yeah. put those charts up. <laughs> <laughs> let's put those charts up. Does displays have uh, CMS for the secondaries as well? Uh, yes, kind of they do. Yes, so absolutely. So you were able to bring them all in. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah and hopefully the hope is that it's a fine-tuning procedure, not a massive amount right. of you know adjustment. Because if, if right? the primaries are correct, the secondary should be should be well, correct. Right. Right. Yeah, exactly. It should actually be they're the derivatives of right. primaries. Again, so it's math. <laughs> exactly, it's math. It's not math. The STs, so. So. Well, the ST they're not, and also that's another um, benefit to getting the VT and the ZT. The VT and the ZT allow you to um, actually bring those in with the CMS controls, whereas with the ST it only allows you to do. The, yeah, the three primaries, which are red, green, and blue. Yep, yeah, go for it. So let's, they're big. The res is high enough. Yeah. So, so this is tracking. this is the, the Samsung here. This is the grayscale tracking from forget zero. That is irrelevant. Especially in five in, in this Calman software, it does not even attempt to measure this correctly. So it just makes it equal, pretty much. You could um, see the points at, of, of the ten point where yeah. we had issues. I right. Had issues. Starting at 70 to 100, that's where the 10 point controls just basically died on us, so we couldn't do anything with it. Um, gamma is relatively flat, it's not as flat as I would prefer it. I like, you know, straight linear, but I mean, again, we're still splitting hairs here. Um, we, with normal content, you really could not see this difference right here. They're like 2.4 around the average. For yeah, 2.4 is what we're aiming at. For night. For night. For night. Yeah, yeah, for night. For day, we did 2.0. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the F8500, pretty flat. Great. This is the arrogate. The reason for that, Larry, yeah. is because this ITU set that as the standard about a year ago for cast for video. And so, I mean, in a dark controlled environment with the right color scheme and everything, 2.4 2 looks great. Yeah. Um, better than 2.2. And you can see it instantly. It's not, it's, Amazing that such a small change in the right environment makes a huge difference in the picture. It's really big. Right. This right here is uh, the Delta E for um, the grayscale. In general, it's holding around two. Um, but once we get into that 70, 80, 90 percent range where the 10 points just died, they spike up. But and that's this, the movie is, this is excellent. This is movie that's mode. Movie. This is right. For the 2.4 gamma, so you'd like that to be zero, right? We would love it to be zero, yeah. but no one has ever made a panel but that goes below, zero below three. You're not going to see if it's it. Below it depends. Three, we'll it, see. It, well, it depends. Three is the threshold for moving content, where it's okay. really hard to see. If you do still images, you will still see a difference. And also, if you have displays right beside each other, yes, exactly. It's really going to see right. Tiny difference. One is really the threshold that you should really, really be aiming for from the engineering perspective from the manufacturer. You should be aiming to go below one because with that, regardless if it's still or fast moving or slow moving, whatever content, it's invisible. It's invisible right. to our eyes. Sensors will still detect a difference, but who cares? <laughs> on the color? Yes. Yeah. Color. Color. Are we oh, still look at this little bit of imagery? This is all Samsung right now. This is all Samsung. So on the Samsung, 
as we can see, it's tracking straight, but again, it's not tracking where it should be in these other saturation points beyond the 100, but still, oh, excuse me, the, the, the outer. But again, no. but even with that, with it's the, pretty good. It's still it's pretty good, good because yeah. with this formula for delta E here, it's still saying that the errors are at three or below three. I've been looking at content that I did color correction work on in all of these, and I was not unhappy with any of them. Any of the plasmas, that is. They all, they all were pretty close. And this is a sum, right? This is a sum of hue, saturation, and luminance for these plasmas. Yes. So. Yes. Yeah. You want to bring up the panty? Let's do that. Or whatever's next in the... It's going to be that Panasonic. You probably only LCD. have to show one of them since they're identical. Uh, oh, the LCD, I think. No, the LCD is next. Oh, well, that's yeah. just We're just going down the line. So this is the Samsung, I mean the Panasonic LCD, the WT60. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty flat, except for 10 percent. But this goes blue, but that's nothing. You know, our eyes are are. But this zero percent. This was a uh, long average read, so this yeah. might be what we. You guys could probably see in the dark scenes that had a purple tint to blacks, yeah. right? Right. There you go. Yeah. Right there. Gamma. Straight. This is acceptable gamma for me because it's right there. Yes. Yep. And this LCD is, really This is ISF so. night, so it, yes. you can clearly see by the, the excellent grayscale tracking, yep. there was no issue with the 10 right. white balance at all. Here are your errors, and 10 and black, of course, are the only ones that are spiking up. 10 is really the most important. Black, forget it. It doesn't matter. But 10 is above 14 on this, on this actual scale, whereas everything else is at 1 or below 1. Especially at the higher end. Can you try working on ten? Or? Yes. That's, that's, that's as good as we can get. Uh, yep. Okay. It's like contamination. Uh, right. Tracking. Again, straight. However, red and the blues are outside of where they were supposed to be on the actual saturation sweep. However, with the errors. Under two percent. <coughs> under two. Under two percent. <laughs> yep. Actually, right. it's under one. Right. Yep. Here is the VT60. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Beautiful. Right? Let's move on. <laughs> Perfect. 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 Do you want to go through it? Perfect. Yeah. The VT oh, look at is that. the same as the ZT? Closer. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We looked at the pictures together in the dark for a long while. We could not see the difference. I think that's worth mentioning very clearly. Black level yes. measured exactly the same. The color is the same. Yeah, I can't see so it. Just the filters, I think yes. so, yeah. yeah. So, this is the VT. It's uh, pretty good. Um, pretty good. It's, actually, it's very good. Very good. <laughs> it's very good. Errors are. And just so they believe us, the let's put the ZT beside it. Yes. Just for kicks. <laughs> Why it's almost like they're using the same panel. Yes. <laughs> Are these clones? <laughs> it's not perfect. It's not perfect, but we got red. It needs a little work. Yeah. Yeah. Can it be made perfect? We could probably, if we want to mess up this point, we could have got these in, but not all together. <laughs> I'll have to pull back up. I don't think it's not And you know, just for everybody to know, what we're seeing here, this point, this is Rec 709. Yes. Yes. But out, outside here, there's a lot more color that we're not getting because it's not in the standard. Well, no display can do it anyway. Right. Can it see it? Well, no display, regardless of technology, can go all the way out here, right. here, or here. And, and part of the reason is that is that the, the, you lose luminance. Exactly. You, you right. push that green out there yeah. where you get a really good green, it gets real dark. it's not going to be very bright. And that's an interesting point here in the States because the original NTSC standards, right, they wanted to have the green way, way out, out. Yeah. but they couldn't do it because right. the phosphors were too slow. Exactly. Right. Should CMS be made to have 10 point tracking also? That's where you guys came no. along and came up with EBU. And good question. Back and the question was, was that's why <laughs> oh, CMC and EBU are so close. Hey guys, the question was, should the CMS be made so that the 
the, the actual suites where we can get in. And so we can go in and adjust different no. luminance levels? the engineers at the manufacturers. Should That's not our right. job. Come on. That's their <laughs> job. Exactly. This is, again, math. This is the math. This is all of this is. So the engineers have some work to do to get all of these points correct. And engineers, we can switch this from 25% suites all the way down to 1% suites if we want to. You should be lining up all the way from 0 to 100 straight and in the boxes. But there's, like, there, there's, there's, there's there be some tolerance, right? Right, there's some tolerance, you know, because, you know, the human eye still cannot perceive everything, especially with moving pictures. But still, this is math to get this right. It's not impossible. It just takes time. Okay. And money. <laughs> time and money. Mm -hmm. The math degree. <laughs> oh, what was that? This is the uh, Samsung LCD. Hello. So it could not reach the 2.4 gamma, as we can see, and it has a dip here at 90%, which means that with um, bright objects or bright detail, it's overexposed, so it might be. It's a little bit close to full yes. white. Right. We maybe could have got it better, but we would have to screw up the grayscale. So right. it's a trade-off. It's a trade-off. Better to have a dip here than a dip down here. Exactly. Shadow, right. All your shadow yes. detail gets right. ruined. Right. Yep. Errors are still below, below two. Yep. Mostly, mostly across the board. Most of them are actually at 1.5 or below. And the saturation sweep shows. It's good. It's good. Not perfect. It's Not perfect, good. but. A little off over here. Uh -huh. Flesh tones yeah. maybe a little. 75% is a little off. Everybody seems to have trouble in that red area. Well, it looks that way, doesn't it? Okay. Well, right. That's the no. model. Is that all? This is great. No, we got to do the Sony. The Sony. Yeah, the Sony. Yeah. Yeah. Not. So we'll leave the Sony out. <laughs> Just because it's 4K. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. It's it's not bad at all. It's that, looking real good. And that was done without 10 point white balance because they don't have that. Right. That's linear panel. That's great. Does it have CMSD as well? No, no, which is frankly ridiculous. As a matter of fact, that expensive. no Sony has ever had CMS. Yeah, that's maybe an issue with the 4K. They would have Except had. for their SXRD projectors, and guess what? It didn't work at all. And I mean at all. It just did nothing. Well, they're usually pretty accurate anyway. How is, it, Close. how is the color accuracy this year? Good. Would you like to find it's out? It's actually good. We're <laughs> going to find out right now. <laughs> actually, look at that. Go the best. <laughs> it's actually, well, we it's have actually on the red. Up here. In some ways, it's better yeah. than the others. Yeah. Except for green. Yeah. You want this to be in a straight line. You know, Even if it doesn't hit the marks, you still want to be straight. But what we have here is, in certain saturation levels, Headed it's toward level, uh, you know, yellow. Right. had a, a little bit too much wine, basically. <laughs> so it's leaning a little bit. <laughs> Same with the red here, you know. It, if it got pulled over, you know, it would be going, it'll be going to jail because it couldn't, you know, this will be a DUI. <laughs> All right. I mean, are we seeing any advantage of the quantum dot uh, phosphor sound? Like, I can't see I it. Don't think, yeah. I don't think so. I yeah. was thinking that before, and I wouldn't say anything until this came up and you could look okay. at it. But no. I yeah, I mean, the, the, these accuracy won't have anything to do with phosphor. Yes, yeah, it's first gen. They have a lot of time to improve it, you know. Well, but I'm just saying maybe you can't. Maybe, I mean, maybe, maybe we're will. at the standard where we're doing as good as what the, the rec says. This is going to work, you know, and, and you, you can't do much better. Now we got to go to a new standard, though. Okay. Well, that's that's yeah, yeah. That, that's, that, good that, question. That, uh, yeah. I do have the charts for the Pioneer. Um, <laughs> I don't want to. Well, I can bring it out. I will have to get no, it out. No, no, no. Kevin no. said no. 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 It's, not a part, it's not a part of the actual shoot up, but I mean, for the tracking, it is, I will say, it is better than this. I mean, if you want it, I'll be more than happy to email it to you. But it's it is definitely perfect. Right? Yeah. It's, it's really? not exactly perfect, but it's it, real close. It's real close. And I mean, they did this without any 10 point. Right. Controls any 3D, true 3D CMS. So, so that exactly. proves. What that makes me think is that 10 point controls aren't necessary if they do it right. That's correct. right. Exactly. That, that means that the engineers right. got it engineer right or well, got it better than everyone it's else. Done. There's no CMS in this. Right. Look at it. Right. It's right. real good. Right. And they got it better five, six years ago. 
Yes. But I mean, to give credit to Sony, Sony is excellent in this also. They can do a two point um, grayscale control and nail it better than any manufacturer with 10 point. Why is that? It's, it's math. It's the engineers in their math. Get it right. <laughs> All right. So, license advice? Yes. Let's yes. rock it.